Bows. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Who your girlfriend fave? Check it, check it, check it. It's Unique Hustle. It's your boy, ECEO. And I'm here with the lovely, amazing, Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Nothing, I'm a dad walk on. Hey, man, hey, man, we got a special guest in here today, man. Say, man, this guy right here, man, he don't need no introduction, man. You done seen him, man. You done seen him. He, he ripping through the ways of YouTube, that for sure. For he sure. in trouble, man. Hey, man, this guy right here, he really don't need an introduction, but the boy is real. Uh, uh, I don't mess it up, Drizzle Dollar. What's up, man? Oh, I bled by the bed, can't complain about the thing. Man, hey, man, so, um, <laughs> man, just happy to have you, man. Thank you for spending time with Boss Talk 101, man. It's a blessing. Yeah, man, so the thing I, I really, you know, uh, admire is uh, when, when, when somebody takes something and they go completely outside of the box and do it in the way they want to get it done. Right. That's what I think of when I see the show, man, Atlanta Avenue. So, um, do you want to talk about his background, baby? I know you always want to you want Just to Just a little bit. Tell us about how it was growing up as a child. In Atlanta? In Atlanta. Uh, I, was a, I was a hustler then. I come from a country grandma, a whole lot of sense. She got a whole lot of sense, but uh, I cut grass, pump gas, took out the trash. I did it all. And then I started hustling. Mm -hmm. At what age? Probably about nine. Nine? Okay. That, that generational curse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uncle them, they gonna put it in your hand. You know what I mean? So you raised by your mom and dad? Yeah, yeah. Grandmama, mama. Grandma, yeah, okay. Yeah, daddy, yeah. Okay, that's good, that's yes, good. Yes, yes, yes. So when did you know you had your skills in acting? Well, I've been acting since a kid. I was acting like Rick Flair, running around here like I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I uh, yeah, I used to act like Rick Flair, so I knew I had to do, mm -hmm. and I I was good at it. Mm. What you say? Woo, woo! I was the nature boy. <laughs> I kept on a suit, you know what I mean. I really took that character serious up until I was grown. Did you, you know? do acting class in in school? Nah, none of that stuff. No, nah, the hood was the the acting. The acting. School. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was enough acting right there. The hood. Yeah, you 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 definitely uh. You have to, uh, so you guys, it, it, how, to work with as many people as you do, and, and how, I, I have a shout out to my, my cousin in Dallas, man, Zeke TV, man, who does his series, and he's just getting started. Okay. Uh, and and just uh, just so I know he'll hear how you, you get out with the get out down here in A-Town. Uh, mm -hmm. just, just give us a little bit on how, how it is just trying to hold everything together, you know, with, it, with, it, with, with the group of people that you guys have worked together, work with. Well, what I do is I pray. I don't pay. Good stuff. See, they paying for it. I'm praying for it. So I pray for my people consistently. You know what I mean? Ain't no fight no set. A whole hundred episodes, you ain't seen a fight. Maybe an argument behind my back, but I'm genuine. You know, what you were saying earlier, you got to have that good heart. You know what I mean? You have to. It got to be good. You can't fake it. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. People can see right through it, huh? Yeah, they can see right through it, and I come with good information and great revelation. Hey. You know, I ain't holding back the information. They come up off of me. Wow. So some of them have branched off and yeah, you done can, things to where they grew? Yeah, you can come up off of me. Wow. I'm going to come to your city and all that. I used to have the camera, and I'd come to your city, Chicago, wherever. It don't matter. You call me, I'm coming. Wow. So... Do you um when you when you guys first started, let's let's talk about that. And what part of Atlanta are you from though? Like what what I'm from where Lucha from, but my mama was on the west side. We call that the best, best side. side. Yeah, yeah, I knew you going there. So I'm a mutt. You know, okay, okay. Stayed in the north, played in the south. Yeah. I'm a mutt. They know me all around. Uh stayed over here ten years, ran all up here. You know, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, so okay, just you want to hear how to how the whole uh, how okay, so how does this happen, Atlanta Avenue? Atlanta Avenue happened because that's where I'm from, born, okay. Sif at the one, okay, Atlanta Avenue, you know. So that street was so effective on my life, I had to make some out of it. You know what I mean? 
No, that was a real effect on my life because that's where I learned from the OGs, the grandmamas, you know, the old folks way back then. So that where it came from, man. We put it, we put it out there and everybody gravitated to it. Yeah. So um, when it comes down to, you know, like, like the first episode, because you guys got so many now. Um, how how much has changed since the, you guys first started doing it to now? I mean, I know you guys have grown so much. Okay. Shout out to my brother, uh, Unk, from Ohio, Dayton, okay. Ohio. He was up here shooting a video for his son in a mansion. And he called me. He said, man, you better come and get some footage over here while I got the mansion, Airbnb. I called my cameraman and everything got history. Wow. But people were so drunk, we rarely got it done. So that's how it became nine minutes. After that, everything got 30 minutes to an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. They really movies. BET just told me, man, you got a whole lot of movies. Them movies. Wow, so BET contacted you. Well, he ain't, he ain't actually BET. He got movies with BET. Okay, okay. You know? So yeah, yeah, and and that's good. That's good stuff. No, nah, yeah, John Carter, shout man. Out to shout out to John Carter. Now, um, just you what have ahead. you learned over the years doing this business that you can um, pass on to someone else? Like, what's the most crucial thing you've learned? Well, a lot of people in our community can't read, mm. can't write, so they let that stop them from trying to make a movie. What I do is I improvise. I don't write. I write it. I write it in my head. Mm-hmm. And then after that, everything got history. But yeah. Um, so you just act, say so you just like tell everybody what to do because you say you don't write it. Yeah, I give everybody something to do and they put their little twist to it if they okay. know how to. And, and then, you tell them if you like the, the twist or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to make them do it over. Okay. That's why Atlanta Avenue is so genuine. Mm-hmm. People didn't have to read no script. You know, and be embarrassed because they can't read. Mm-hmm. And people comfortable, man, and they like to come back. They come back to this one. But know? do you think that, because after a while, things blow up and mm-hmm. get, do you think you'll still be able to use that concept if it gets bigger? Well, I'll be able to fit the fit it. Okay. Get my best writers. Mm-hmm. I can write too. And mm-hmm. then um, throw my improvise in it. Because certain stuff you can't write. Right. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. this stuff we doing now, it can't be wrote. Okay. You can't write this, so. Okay, cool. Well, when you when you look at uh, Atlanta Avenue, man, what 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 do you want to see this go? I want to see it make history. Okay. I want to see it make history because a hundred episode was my destiny. Okay, and and so when you when you 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 say you want to see it make history, you you you're, uh, guys like uh. uh like I said, money and violence and uh, different. I've seen where somebody came in and purchased their brand, mm-hmm. and then you didn't see it anymore. They pretty much shelved it after that. Yeah. Um, and it was a great show. I enjoyed it. It was a little tough watching all the killings and all that, but um, all in all, it was getting the views and everything. And then, I, I, and this is uh, allegedly uh, Jay Z and, and those guys yeah. linked up, and and when it happened, you didn't see them anymore. Um, what is that? What would you sell out for money or anything like that when it come down to the brand? No. You see what I'm saying? No, I'm going to get a hundred million. Uh, I've been trying to, people don't try to take me into these people's office. And, you know, I renege. Yeah. I wasn't ready yet. Yeah. But now, nah, though, uh, to answer your question with them guys, that just lets you know your project ain't that effective. Okay. It's a trend. Okay. It's just trending, you know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It wasn't that effective. And then it's 2021. 20, Ain't nobody watching that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you um when you look at you guys and how you guys come together, shout out to, uh, is it Peaches? What is her name on the show? Peaches. Peaches. Shout yeah. out to her, man, because we, we sat down with her last time we was here, and I just enjoyed her, her vibe, man, so I wanted to shout her out. But good person. Uh, good person, man. Great person, actually, man. That's why I was like, man, this show got to be dope if you mm-hmm. on it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, um, man, just uh, the whole cast, man, and the people that you work with, man, um, Anybody that sticks out when you, because OG Big Red, that's who, that's that's how we link, of course. Um, any 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 of them just stick out to you when when you guys are working? Yeah. You try to say all of them. Yeah, no, no, peaches. Uh, I brought a kid in named O. 
who uh, I grew up with, he became effective. A lot of them, man, because uh, it's genuine and they ain't reading no script, you know, trying to remember what to say. So, yeah, uh, Spice One came in and I got everybody doing there in now, you know, somebody you know probably in now, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spice One was in that thing. Yeah, Spice One. Yeah, Spice One in there. Man. OG. OG, OG man. How, how is he doing? Uh, he doing good, man. I had him in my house. I took him to the club and showed him love. And Cause he out, he out of L.A., right? Yeah, yeah. Or, or, or is it L.A. or the Bay? Where is he at up there? L.A. L.A.? But, but uh, no, nah, that's somebody I listened to from my uncle there. And then I end up with him in my house. Wow. From one of my cast members. Wow. Baby daddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's our baby daddy. Yeah. Man, man, that's dope, man. What, what do you think about him just going to create a show? It just forget about the, 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 the rules. We're going to do this, and we're going to keep it at Atlanta. We're going to do it the way it's supposed to be done, man. But he just all, he comes across with a, such a creative personality. Man, your personality is something dope, man. So we like already the way you was going to do that. Yeah, the way you do. Oh, what is what we got here? We're giving our gifts here, man. Stop yeah, playing, man. man. I had to bring you Say, something. man, look at here, man. We been, hey, we good over here, man. Yeah, Call man. Call him out for me, E. Say, man. You got, what, what is this? The 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 part apartments department department without the a with that that's what threw me off you know what I'm I saying got you, I got the apartments check it out we country you know man me too yeah is it chasing Chicago chasing Chicago with famous decks with famous decks man that's dope man uh chasing the bay drizzle ATL with man J, with JT the bigger figure that that one with JT mm -hmm. man look at this man and, and then we got a uh, that's a Phil, Phil Molina, uh, numbers, numbers, and it got the, it got the, the the card on the front of it, nigga. It is what it is. Stop playing, mm -hmm. man. And then you got a uh, mailbox, mailbox. What is mailbox about? Uh mailbox basically, man. I grew up at a mailbox and um, used to sell drugs at the mailbox and um, was kind of reminiscing on bringing that back and. Putting it out there, just letting people know uh, the history. Wow. Because people uh, look at it as a mystery if you don't put it out there, you know. And um, I like to put stuff out there that I don't experience doing. Because I started the mailbox and then everybody started trapping at the mailbox. Wow. So what's numbers about? Numbers about, man, I'm, I'm, I'm tricking them with the food stamp card. I'm finessing with the food stamp card. I'm putting it down. I'm getting the money off the EBT. You know, something we always wish we could do when we were younger. I always wish I could go get that money off that card. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then I remember mama giving me food stamp books. So I'm, I'm finessing them, man. I got them going. I got Curtis Snow and the other boy from the blog. Man, I've been looking for him. I sure want to get him. Man, get that boy over here. If he ain't and doing he, nothing today. You know, I said, get that boy over here. And he in here, too. You know, man, you you linked in. Yeah, no, nah, I'm linked in, man. I, hey, listen, I'm the. I keep telling them I'm the. I'm the history. Man, you, I love it. The you work can put me in the books already. <laughs> chasing the bay. What's that about? Uh, chasing the bay. Where I went to. The, I do this thing called chasing. I'm sorry. I do this thing called chasing. Where I come to your city and I chase it. I chase it and I go holler at the projects. You know, holler at people, see what they're doing, and see what the hood hen like and stuff like that. Man, dope. So, yeah, I got Ohio. It just ain't on DVD, but... Um, oh, yeah? You, you do? Dayton, Ohio. Um, I probably been coming to Dallas. When, man? No, no, what happened was, unfortunately, one of my biggest fans got killed in wow. Dallas. Mm. Tree Hugger. I don't know if you heard of Tree Hugger, mm -hmm. but Chris Go, all them guys, mm -hmm. they come up under that umbrella. And he when, got did that, when, when did that happen? Last year. Mm. Murder-suicide. Wow. He was big in Dallas. They loved him, man. Tree hugger. Guap. His name Guap. He got killed, yeah. Wow. And I used to wear clothes in, in my show. He was my bigger fan. He was ready to put a bag behind me. Man, that's, man. And he got killed on some yeah. street. Uh, in the house. Oh, in the house. Murder, suicide. Murder, suicide. White yeah. girl killed him. Wow, hmm. man. Yeah, straight out of Dallas. They love him in Dallas. Wow, man. Man, that, that's a tough loss, man. Man. Chasing Chicago. Man. Famous Dex. Yeah, man. Famous He's been Dex. going crazy lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has, man. But you know when, when you don't do right by people, God will take you through, son. Wow. Yeah, God will take you through, son. 
So you and him, y'all, 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 do y'all still speak? Or? The boy won't even won't even acknowledge me. I got a couple people who love me who be jumping on their live and be putting what uh, holla at drugs or they may say some of that uh, that effect, but he won't bother with me. Well, how was y'all relationship? How did y'all meet? Uh, 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 OG from Chicago called me and said he got a star. Then before anybody know him, I said send him down here. He sent him down here on the plane. His first time ever on a plane. And I, I took it from down. I did this. I got him in Chasing Atlanta. I got him in Normals. I put him out there. Wow. Then what I do, then my city. And then you know. and then after that, what where did what do you think the, the, the divide came? Well, I had him a deal set up for QC. Oh really? And he ended up signing with the artist instead of the boss. Okay. And he snuck off and did that. Wow. Yeah, he snuck off in New York and signed with Rich the Kid. Instead of signing with P, because I had to set up with two official, it was gonna go down. He didn't have no patience. Wow! But it, the, the 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 slime side came out. I got big love for him. Never did an interview on him. Plenty of people tried to get me to do an interview on him. Yeah. In a negative way. You yeah. Know? I just want to talk about him. Yeah. I yeah. said, I'm let God do it. Man, I ain't man. gonna have to do nothing. You know? Man, that won't he fight your battles for you? Man, he he fight your battle. He'll remove them out your out your life. See the things I used to do, I don't do no more. Man, what you man? Come the on, places now. I used to go, I don't go, go no more. more. The people I used to know, I don't even know no more. Hey, <laughs> I don't even want to know. Them, you know, <laughs> hey, listen, what I'm doing? I'm sitting at home. I'm I'm smoking on some of the biggest blunts, making money in my sleep. I mean, these people give me so much money. I ain't got no problem. My my net goal is to go go uh, first class. I heard Dick Gregory said, go first class. When you go first class, you won't never go back. Wow. That's my net goal. You know, yeah, first I'm class. Cooling. I'm cooling. So, and, I, and I stay in the apartment for real, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I just know better. I ain't going to pay nobody out rent, you know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And yeah. I ain't too focused on no house. I'm, I'm, I want uh, Warren Buffett and them. Them guys constantly moving, mean they money. They meet the money. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't meet the money at home. Dang, I so, know that's right, man. Yeah, I ain't putting all no money in no house. That dead money. Let me ask you something, man, and I have to ask this because it's one of the things that's going on in, in, in the world today, man. Uh, the Dolph killing, man. Um, uh, what, how does, how, how does that affect the way you move for us in business and, and the music and all the stuff that's centralized around what's going on in, in, in the world and society today? You heard what you said, that Dolph bid. Yeah. That Dolph business, that rapping, that 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 killing, that shooting, you put that out there, it's gonna come back to you. That's what I keep hearing. My first name was Mr. Robber. I was a robber. I would rob you. I would befriend you and rob you. But I was the type of robber I'd leave something in your pocket. <laughs> I was different. I'm a grandma baby, so you ain't gonna just take him all the way out. Most of them I won, you know, because. I just realized these fucking come back and get me. And a lot of them could have got me, but they remember I left something in their pocket. Hey, man. Even finessing. You know, we finesse. We take people out for real, 50s, 100s, you know. They can't kill us. We didn't rob them with no gun. I robbed you with my mouth. That's right. I was probably talking a little fast when I did it, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you with my mouth. Most most yeah. people most people don't even don't even understand that game, man. But if if you can if you can control the mental, the action will definitely follow. No, I had to put it behind me though, because I just seen how easy it was. Yeah, people, they'll come to Atlanta and give you anything. Wow, they'll wow. give it to you. Put it right in your hand. Wow, <laughs> that how desperate people are. Like my show, people want these rent rents. Yeah, they want them rents and they blank right. So they hit me from all over the world. When soon they get here. They calling me. Think I'm going to serve them. Some crazy stuff. But that's how the world live. And they get mad at me when I say, man, I don't do that. Well, when, when you first started, I know you started off, you didn't have the greatest camera in the world. How, how did that start off for you? Like, how did you start recording? How did you even know how to do it? Well, my Ohio buddy, he gave me a camera. But long story short, a dude came in there, said the name JT the Bigger Figure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to JT the big fan. Change my world. Change my world, big brother. Put JT? A, yeah, so JT put a camera in my hand and told me to go. It started the independent game. No, I ain't never signed no deal with nobody. 
I got the game early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Cause man. he taught Master P. I'm listening. Yeah, Master P learned the game from him. You know, and Master P gave him his he gave him his flower, the yeah. magazines and interviews and stuff like that. So he taught he taught Master P. Well, when I said I wasn't there, he influenced. So he influenced. There him. it is. He gave him the game. Yeah. When, when, when the boy landed in the bay, he went and seen brother. Yeah. Wow. He was all in JT living room. He got the game from JT. If you look at a game, you that JT game. Wow. Yeah. So you and JT, y'all, y'all been, y'all been riding for a long time. That my brother, man. That my brother, and um, shout out to Mister Tour Fisher QC over there. Um, you deal with them as well. They're my people. So you talking about uh, Coach K and uh, a P? Well, P, we come from downtown. Okay. Downtown Atlanta, that's where we come from. So uh, I had a business. They was trappers. I had a business, but I was trapping out my business too, though. I sold CDs and DVDs, but I had a dollar store. I sell everything. That's how the dollar came on the drizzle. I was already drizzled. We just throw the dollar on it. Wow. And made it, um, made it what it was. So, P, you and him kind of came up. Uh, they were doing their thing. You was doing yours. Yeah, they come and get the CD from me and stuff like that and come and jug out my shop, stuff like that. Yeah. And, and, and you rock with him? Yeah, P, a real, he a real street one. Yeah. He been promising me he going to put me on, but you know how God works. Come on, man. Hey, hey, God is in control. Hey, I bet God you that. in control. They can tell you what they're going to do, but God going to tell you what he going to do. Man, I love you. I love your answers, brother. Yeah. I'm I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> nah. Uh, it's real. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we believe about the best. Say, uh, man, ain't no games when you're dealing with God. Nah. You can't get around him. You can't get around him. And the thing about God is he, he, he the real one. He ain't none of these fake people, you know. He going to do it for you for real. Like He, he might make you wait. But he gonna do it for you. And then the good part about God, he he don't want you to be perfect. He wants you to be patient. Hey, he don't want you to be perfect. He wants you to be patient. That's all. Just be patient. It coming. The blessings coming. And I tell people, you know, stop stop praying for them little bit of blessings. God too big for them little bit of blessings. Man, you can't pray for nothing bigger than God. You know Ooh. what I mean? So, boy, hey, this is a good show yeah. right here. Nah, I'm going to let him run it, boy, because he's talking my talk, ain't he? Nah, he, they be praying for rent money and, and car notes. You know, come on, man. That's all you got to add God for? Come on, man. Ain't he big enough for the job? Man, listen. <laughs> you know if he let the monkey swing it out and told the bird, the blue bird, to sing it out, <laughs> you know he powerful. <laughs> Love it, man. You know he powerful. He told the lion he had to run it out. Told the ant he had to... <laughs> Crawled it out. So the end said he had to creep it out. My God. Man, ain't he good? He's a good guy. He told the bell he had to snow it out. <laughs> told the cow he had to know it out. <laughs> man, listen, he's so good. I'm to my, I don't even pull to be here. Man, so so give me a story, man. Something that, that could have took you out. What could have took me out? Uh, man, I shot a man five times wow. on New Year's. And, um, I had a whole lot of prayer warriors around me, and uh, I was playing with the system. I didn't want to go to trial, but I ended up taking it to trial. But some kind of way, they said they don't want to go to trial. And then I've been in there 15 months. I get out, my grandma sell her house, divide the money with all her kids. My mama come and get me with her money, so I got a chance to fight from the streets. So I get a call one day. I'm out, I'm in the country, about 30 minutes from here. And um, my mama said, man, there's all kind of deputies at, at this house. They was coming to get me because I probably been in court for a plea. They was going to count the 15 months. It's two years and give me three-year probation. Mm -hmm. God still let it go down, though. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So how did you end up getting out of it? Did you, did you get anything? or two year, The 15 months was counted as two years, time served, <laughs> and I was three years. And you, I, I, did I you live home. it down? Yeah, I went home from the courtroom. Hey, man, ain't that something? Won't God do it? Man, God will do it. He doing it now. Look man. where I'm at. Look where I'm at. Man, you on Boss Talk 101? I've been watching Boss hey, Talk. Hey, so what do what you think about Boss Talk? When you way down in ATL, man, what do you think about Boss Talk 101? For one, they got a genuine guy behind the mic. Hey, man, thank God, man. Man, you got a beautiful face. Man, the there. wife, man, the wife going to always be by my side. I've been so, 20 years, man. So that's what I see. And thank that. you so much, man. But not only that, I see the wisdom. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I see the wisdom in the 
in the show. Man, but then, yeah, you got, we got Money Moses. He only in when he want to be. I got a young buck. I keep him on my side just to make sure, hey, man, when I look over there at him, man, we got to do this, man. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's just the one thing. I feel like when, you, when you're when you an older guy, man, and you had so many opportunities, you got to pass it on the same way you do. Yeah. You know, you're helping the others just coming behind you to understand, right. hey, man, we here to create the, a, a feeling in the void, right? No, no, you got to. Man, I tell you, man, I, I just, I th you done blessed me. Bro, I'm, I'm being real. Like, no, like you your, your spirit, the way that you are, um, I ain't gonna, I mean, I ain't gonna gas you up. I, I'm, I, I'm a man that I'm driven by spirit. So right. it's just the way that you, you speak about God and, and, and I, to know that you've been through so much and then to put something together, man, like you've done, man, it's just, you know it's God behind it. No, you know no. what I mean? Yeah. I put a message in this stuff, but it ain't all good. It ain't all pictures and cream because I didn't see Buckhead that that much. Nah, I ain't get a chance to see Buckhead that much, but Bankhead go and get that fish, stuff like that. So yeah. uh I got man, I'm killing, I'm stealing, I'm doing it all. I'm doing my past life. So um you're gonna get a lot of stuff from me, man. We working. I got that man, I'm trying to fill his bank account up, you know. I work seven days a week. Man, ain't nothing wrong with it. I you, don't take five days. I I got to do seven. You man, know what you mean? you just like me. That's why I be. You say you wake up at three. Yeah, I wake what up. What I do, babe? Wake up at three. I uh, wake up at. Three. We the same. Yeah, I wake up. I'm at laughing because it's funny to me. I'm just listening at you. You got to check my show out. You think I'm gonna do something. it, man. You got to check my show out, man. You think you think I'm on there, man? You said, man, I'm listening to a preacher. They be called. They say I'm preaching, but I say I'm teaching and I'm speaking. I don't Man. have a Bible. I yeah, don't, I don't know the Bible that good. I ain't got that many. Cal uh, I ain't got that. My vocabulary ain't that big. I tell you, man, people, people gravitate to this show. I'm changing lives. Yeah, I'm changing I'm lives a bit, dog. Yeah, they 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 telling me I'm changing lives. Y'all better tell them we on YouTube now. Shout out to my Swa family, and I got something I call Swa. We Swa everything. We put swear on everything, and this a different kind of swear. This ain't just swearing where your grandmama think you cussing somebody out. This just swearing where you know I swear I'm gonna do my best. You know that kind of swear, that mm -hmm. motivational swear. I just did something yesterday where we went to the county jail, and I called them some swear motivation. You know, just uh, taking the people to the jail, our county jail, let them let them know they were my second home one point of time. Yeah. Yeah, man, when you've been through a lot, man, and, and you're able to you can you you able to influence others just by the way that you move, man. The light in you gonna bring others out of darkness. I always no, say. it always do. Yeah, you know, and, and that's the whole cold game, man. Like, um, you know, when 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 I've been through all the stuff that I've been through, I'm just looking at an opportunity to to do something to inject positivity into a place where we know that the evil lurks. Yeah. That's what Boss Talk 101 was. It was a place where when I get a guy like you on here who starts speaking about God, somebody could be watching Boss Talk 101 in the middle of the night and be like, man, you know, I was doing bad and I was going through some things and he said something, you mm. know what I mean? A man-man said something, throw me all the way off, man, yeah. made me get back on, you know what I mean? Real so life. a lot of people don't understand what, I, what, what these, these platforms do, but it helps people, man, because there's so much craziness going on in the world that we have to have something to interject positivity. You got to, and then you got to think about it, like, most people, are they grab it, I mean, when you wake up the negativity, you wake up to a young Dolph death. Wow. Getting off my show at 10 o'clock in the morning, the first thing I see on the internet is young Dolph being killed. I read it that. I just had Dolph in my hands on the west side. He was so comfortable with me, he called his barber. Hey man, come and cut my hair. Try to get me a chair. Cut his hair outside. I'm in the video and all that, and then he was directing. I didn't get a chance to see Dolph. I got a chance to see Adolph. Yeah, because he was directing it, he wasn't rapping, he didn't have no jury on, he was ashy. So, you know, and, and then when we were talking about Dolph, people talking that stuff, smoking tukey, smoking bookie, somebody gonna be smoking you. Somebody gonna be smoking you eventually. You know what I mean? You can't keep going around here putting out that stuff. That stuff manifests. Our words like seeds. Once you start talking that stuff, you plant. You plant your seeds to grow. When I talk, I'm talking to grow. 
my words to grow. I'm planting seeds. Every time I'm saying something, somebody listening, they picking it up because they know it's something in it. It's going to groom. It's going to blossom. Man, you know, um, you have kids? Or? I got twins. You got twins? They superstars. Oh, yeah. How old are they? 15. Basketball, 15. Wow. football, uh, track. Boys or girls? Boy and a girl. Okay. And, and I prayed for them, right? My first set of twins been put on somebody else, two boys. But I got... That when I was doing shot the boy, the girl, she was trying to wait on me. Yeah. She couldn't wait on me. She put them kids on somebody else. But God oh. brought me two more. <laughs> you see how he worked. You oh, know really? Me? Yeah. So, And then my daddy, right, ain't never come to a basketball game, football game. So I be at all my kid game. They call me for money. I don't know how to say no. You know what I mean? Yeah. I yeah. can't tell them no. They add me for don't 20. Don't make you feel good. Yeah, yeah. Look, my daughter hit me yesterday and said, uh, Daddy, she asked for 25, I sent her 40. She said, uh, my mama said, who the uh, other field team for? Man, man. I said, no, for you. Man, man called me when he want what he want. You know? Already, man. Yeah, that for you, baby. But she don't ask <laughs> for now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a difference, ask, ain't it? Yeah, it's a bit different. My man. son kind of like that. He don't really ask for much. Yeah. Yeah, when I, when I, when I get an opportunity, I definitely How gotta look out. He? He's 14 now. Oh, man. Uh, we got a 14-year-old and a 16-year-old. Uh, then I got some older kids, Man, you moving like a young boy, man. No, nah, no, nah, man. My wife a little younger than me, and she come to me one day and said, I need, I want a baby, pretty much. And I was like, okay. And then I had to double down and start doubling up on the finance and everything because I'm, you know, I know, I'm knowing I'm older. I'm like, I got to go get it, man. So that's what happened. I'm looking at your glory, but I want to hear your story. Man. That's another part, though. <laughs> That's another part. I'm looking at it. I, I, I'm telling you. Tell, yeah. I don't know how old you are, but your testimony look good on you. Say, man, I thank God for being nah. here, man. If I go down that hole, man, we'd be here for another about 45 minutes. Nah, I ain't. But we gonna, I'm going to get on your show. be you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm going to get you. We going to yeah. get down, man. Get down on the get down for sure. But just a dollar, man. We, we appreciate you, man, for coming on Boss Talk 101. Man. This is not last time either. No. We going to do this like this going to be a thing where you a regular. Man, you my at I'm an out of town regular nigga. You hear me? Well, listen, you like you my regular. When Red hit me and told me what the move was, I said, "Ooh, look at God, <laughs> nigga." You know I've been watching them people. Man, thank you so I've much. I've been watching man. you, man. I have, man. man. I, I just watch you uh, talk about uh, asking him about Adam twenty two. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, see, listen, I'm refereeing the internet because I'm trying to learn it. I'm making five, six thousand dollars a month. I'm trying to get them twenties and thirties already, and then them fifties and hundreds already. So, how, but we looking pretty good though, huh? We nah, coming we, through there? Yeah, no, nah, we looking good, baby. <laughs> we looking good. Nah, we, we, they in trouble, man. Yeah. So, some new boys and drove up on the block, and it's going down. It's going down. <laughs> hey, can I tell them where to find? Go ahead, you man. Make sure you tell them where All to find right, you. Y'all can find me at Drizzle Dollar. Make sure you put that R on that dollar, and then on YouTube, I'm Drizzle Dollar Man Man. I got both of them together because they think they're two different people, which it is, you know. Don't come to me talking about some rant. That man, man, go holler at that man, man. I'm Drizzle Dollar. Hey, Drizzle <laughs> Dollar, man. Nah, shout out to Bob Talk 101. Hey, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show, so man. It's been another great, and we love you. No, nah, we love you. I love y'all, too. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we Swire. Have.